Okay, good news is I was looking at the video for the new emulator, and th the frames look pretty fine on there. It must be just on my end. But just to show you the problems that are going on here, this is on the old emulator. This is the one that I did Minish Cap, Link's Awakening, and Mother 3 on. Welcome back to Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. We're still caught in the intro. We still haven't done anything RPG-like. But we have a Luigi now. We control him with the B button. And welcome to Bowser's airship. It's filled with Koopalings. Or Koopa Troopas. Air Koopa Troopas. So this is like the second time I remember Koopa actually enlisting the Mario Brothers. Still pretends like he's hot stuff, but you know. I wonder what conversations are going on here. Ah! More tutorials! Except these aren't from Toads. So they're not toad tutorials. They're Koopa tutorials. So we can switch places by hitting start. You know what? Let's keep Luigi in the lead for a while. As you can see, their colors change on their buttons too. So now I can control Luigi with the A button. Oh, I already explained that. Yeah, we got that. We're good. Yep. A button for the front, B button for the back. You can hit them together to make them jump together. I'll be doing that a lot. And there's bros blocks in this game. Hit the block that matches the color, and it'll move sideways and maybe give you a prize. Let's try it out. This will do a little bit of practice right now. Yeah! Tons of coins! Not tons. I've gotten way more than that. But at least I have 108 coins now, that's good. So, more tutorials even here. Ah. What's going on here? People waiting for the bus? We're on the bus. Oh, this is the DMV. No, no it isn't. I can't see that. But then again, this is the Game Boy Advance. You look awful all the time. You are very similar to this guy right here. You know this, right? I don't think they know this. What do you want now? Please don't tutorial at us. I wasn't sure that passports were required for this. I thought they were a peaceful kingdom. So you're a suitcase, you must have a passport of some kind, right? Well, I'm hitting buttons. He's not letting me go. Oh, he wants me to open my suitcase. Yeah, he's making you do this. Oh, so that's what those are. And here's the audio problems. For some reason, the voice noises and some of the noises made when you're selecting things on a menu they kind of just cut out. I'm not quite sure what that is. I don't remember having that on a PSP emulator. But then again, I played that like four years ago. But now all we got is crackles. Oh, no. Eventually it'll fix itself, and it hasn't really messed with any major noises. It's just that, uh, it's kind of an annoyance. You know what, let's just imagine that the, the Koopa Cruiser is so loud we could barely hear this guy. Yeah, that's canon. Oh yeah. Ducky. It's just that Mary and Luigi are insanely loud. Alright, we got it. I'm in this crackle voice. Mm, this is why I didn't want to use the old emulator for this, but the new emulator has that frame issue problem that I'm not having here. This is great. This is nice and smooth to me. Oh, well, yeah, we're going to do Luigi first, because I have Luigi in the lead. I forgot about that. Okay, why wouldn't I not do that? Oh, you mean poses? You mean say fuzzy pickles? I, I, I wanted to keep that pose. You'll see why later. Yeah, I know how to do that. Thank you. Mario's turn. Wonder what kind of cool pose he has planned. 
Yep, that's a pretty cool pose you have there. I have a feeling a lot of YouTubers picked that pose. I wonder why. But let's see what we got. Yep! I like how the game was so exact, it caught Luigi just as he's ending his animation. Which I gotta admit is pretty good, considering this game is a year younger, or a year older than Minish Cap, which also has some good animations. But yeah, it caught him at the exact moment. It wasn't just like a thing. It was an actual screenshot. Oh, the noises are back, which means people shouldn't be sp speaking in Crackle anymore. Even though some of the noises are a little bit off now, some of the speaking noises. Is it minor? Yes. Is it activating my OCD? Also yes. Oh, here we go again. Ah, hey, it's you! I thought you were just a useless NPC. And you got your voice back! Congratulations! So let me know if you would prefer the new emulator or the old emulator, and I'll see what I can do. But for the next video, I'm going to be going back to the new emulator for the time being. Because that just irritates me. So if you help this guy get to the Koopa Cruiser, he gives you a 1-up. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the game's not hard. You're probably not going to be going through those like candy. But any little bit helps. Oh, we did do that. But there wasn't anything in that one. A turgid tomato? Oh, he was asking where the deck was. Why was I wrong? Oh, we already know how to fight. Thank you. Uh, no thanks. Yeah, I'll, I'll show them the ropes because I'm kind of tired of the tutorial stuff. I mean, Tingle and Link got it bad enough, but this is, like, exceptionally bad. But we're gonna do the battles anyway. Because it's free experience points, why not? Oh no, not you! Look, I did not want you to join in! I got this! We know how to dodge! Thank you! Yes, the A and B buttons. Like everything else in this game. And now you're crackling at us again. Way to go, Mr. Crackle. His name is Luigi, by the way. Okay, we got it. One thing I pulled off is a counter that you could do. This guy's gonna not gonna tell us about counters until right now. Yeah, some attacks you can't counter, obviously. You can't jump on fire. Leave! Go away! Shoo! Be gone! This is why Mario usually beats you guys up. His name is Luigi! I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna rant myself silly trying to re correct these guys. Oh, your voice is back! And finally, we could battle this thing the proper way. With Mario and Luigi! One thing this game has going for it is the damage numbers don't really get too ridiculous. Except late in the game, and doing something that I really like doing, which is breaking the game. But, you know, a little bit of EXP helps, at least. Ah, uh, he's not gonna tutorialize at us again, is he? If he has any more tutorials up ahead, I'm just gonna ignore them. And we got a level up! Yes, I'll be skipping through battles that look very similar. Unless I have things to say. Usual RPG thing. This is how level ups work in this game. You can select a bonus. HP, pretty obvious. That is, um, for later. We'll explain that later. Defense, not too useful. Speed determines how quickly you go first, and... Stash is a special stat. Which, uh, doesn't mean it enhances specials or anything, it's just a special stat. The special things. I will also explain later. But power is what we really want. Power determines all our damage. So I really like juicing this up, because it just makes battles that much easier. Defense, obviously, we should be dodging. 
Oh, he's back again. One thing I also haven't mentioned is uh, I'm not really going to be using enemy boxes this time around. Unless for bosses, because there's just so little information for these enemies. I mean, even less than off. Let me guess, you want to teach us a tutorial, don't you? And you lost your voice again. That's another thing I'm going to be ranting myself silly if I'm using this emulator, is, is the voices cutting out. No, how about we don't? Let's not do that. No, let's not do that. I don't wanna... Ah! Let's go. Let me just sum it up for you. You jump on enemies, you get an early damage boost. And if you use other things, you might get other battle effects. But we're not gonna help this guy. No, you could deal with that one on your own time. Heck with that. Even though I could've got EXP from that too. Darn. Alright, you know what? We're gonna go back and do that. Get the EXP off this thing. Also, if an enemy happens to hit Luigi or whoever's in your back row while you're trying to jump on them, they will stun that guy for a turn. So, let's not do that. Yeah, the EXP is worth it. Especially since Luigi had a little level up when I cut. So, yeah. They're both level 2 now. Unless somebody's gotten knocked out, these guys are going to be pretty much leveling one after the other, most cases. But he was telling us to save, and you know what? I don't mind saving too often. Because if I'm going to be jumping back and forth between emulators, it's good to have a save ready. Okay. Yep, that's what you get. I, I boosted through that now. That was silly. So we could use Mr. Pinch to do things! What kind of things? All this cargo things. Yeah, we can't get to the deck. There's cargo in the way. This is a tutorial. Hit blocks that look like this to do things. Hi, Mr. Pinch, how are you doing today? Hey, uh, Luigi, you may want to get out of the way. Why were you standing there? Yeah, make yourself useful while you're up there, why don't you, Luigi? And thus Luigi was lookout. Wow, oh, that took forever. And prep the cannons or whatever we use. Oh no, Luigi has suffered some kind of eye condition! heck was that? Oh, it's you again! It's an evil granny! The great Cacletta, huh? And she's also causing things to spaz out. Usually the intro has some of the worst graphical errors in the game so far. I haven't really seen it this bad in other places. An either emulator. But for some reason, whenever there's too many sprites on the screen, this game just starts blinking like crazy. Okay, I'm pretty sure she was saying something evil there. I wasn't really paying that much attention. Oh, so we're gonna have to fight our useless minion. And he speaks in Yoda talk! I kind of like how he talks, actually. Not quite Yoda. More like evil Yoda. Now you're making me hungry! So let me guess, practice mini-boss battle. Wow, that was quick! I don't know why Fawful's... His lines are so weird. I like them. This is indeed Fawful. He's familiar to people that played other Mario & Luigi games. He talks funny. 
and he's going to get stepped on by the Mario Brothers. So he doesn't really have much attacks, we're still kind of in the intro section here. At least you get to step on this guy a whole bunch. Oh, at least he's at... How did you do that? Uh, uh no. How about... Ah, uh, you're gonna tutorial at us, aren't you? Oh yeah, we already had a hint about that. This is talking about enemy tells. And they say red things. They're aiming for Mario. They always have some kind of hint. Usually it's obvious. It gets less obvious as the game goes on, because obviously you should be more experienced. But it doesn't seem to like Mario too much. And we can't really do too much damage against them either. He's not technically a boss yet, because it's playing like the regular battle music. Oh, that means he's gonna start with Mario first, right? Yeah, I know about Tails. Can we like step on Bowser a little bit there? He still is a bad guy. I guess that would be unfair. Oh, you're starting with Luigi this time! How dare you! So pretty much this is all just teaching you, in a very elaborate way, Hey, there's Tails, and Fawful says things that are weird. Oh, who are you ramming? I don't see any colors! Oh, it's Mario! Using all the skills I've learned so far, because Nintendo forced them down my throat! And this guy's pretty durable for a mini-boss. A very, very early game mini-boss. He must have did about 20 damage to him so far. Because this is just the beginning of the game. We have to win sometime. Either way, it's either going to be an enemy beats you and you can't do anything about it, or the heroes are going to beat the enemy and they can't do anything about it. There's no middle ground here. You can keep that fury! I love your speaking. I love your speaking, all of it. Oh no, one fell swoop! Our only weakness! And now they're dead. So we get to play as Thoughtful now, right? Because he's pretty cool. Yeah, totally normal me meteorites. Nothing wrong there. They certainly didn't die on impact. Oh, welcome to Bean Bean Kingdom. Finally. It only took us two videos to get here. Now we just need to find a save point, because I need to pull this back to the other emulator. Of course they couldn't die that easily. And it's a little slapstick humor for the kiddos. A barrel and a tomato. That's what we need right now. That's all we need to fix up Bowser's ship. Things aren't looking too good already. We're kind of stranded. Hopefully the Bing Bing Kingdom isn't too far. But we're going to be saving it here. Yes, I know my RPGs usually run much longer, but... 100% of this, maybe about 90% of this, is just going to show you, like, the voice crackle thing, and I'll let you guys decide after that. Now the intro is done. Now we could do this game proper. Good night, folks.